looking at this stock market, I feel like it would be nice of me to warn you. Um, my people told me a month ago that they were going to start lying to me again. And that was before um, I said that Israel was, was responsible for West Texas. The thing is, um, Benjamin Netanyahu is actually friends with... Um, in my in my letter, it starts off with this story about how I was hanging out with this girl, and she told me that she got raided by fed, the feds, and they interrogated her, her over something, and or not her not she got raided a place that she went to got raided this horse ranch, and um, she was actually um, friends with the Netanyahu family. She talked about how Benjamin Netanyahu's wife's a really good cook, and I think she stayed at his house before, or something like that. So. Um, it would be weird if Israel bombed West Texas. Um, so I might have I might have been lying about that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, at this point, I don't know what I was lied to about. Um, but what I do know for sure is that we really, really, really like tricking people into shorting the stock market. Because you have to think about it. If we have the money to cover the short, to buy back the stock at a certain price, then it's really nice to get someone to loan you money and then pay you to loan because they have to pay you the difference. Like you have to understand that, that, that little space is, 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 is money you made as long as you have money in the bank to cover the, the short. And I feel like shorting the market right now is kind of intuitive. Like it's like, it's like a, you should, you assume that you should short it, but you never know. Maybe I was right. Um, and what what is very clear is that I don't have control of my Bitcoin anyways. So, um, you know, when I when I said that we were going to sell all, all our Bitcoin, um, the reality is that Bitcoin is pretty much the currency that we use. So I don't think we want to destroy Bitcoin, um, but that doesn't mean that we want to um, keep Bitcoin at such a high value. But we do like we love when Bitcoin goes up after we've. Um, done major transactions with it, but I don't, I don't control that stuff at all. I don't have, I don't have control over anything. Um, I definitely don't have control over the stock market situation. So, um, my understanding right now is that there are more retail investors that are short than any time in history. Cause, cause in the past people didn't short. Um, and now retail investors are shorting and that has propped up the market a lot, but it also means a lot of people have lost money. Um, I also feel like I should give you guys fair warning. I'm not short on the American stock market at all. I'm short on a foreign, on, on like a, on a, on a foreign country's stock. So um, I never intended to be short on the American stock market. I think it's un-American to be short on the American stock market. Um, that's it. I did get out my hundred letters yesterday. Man, I worked. It, it, I didn't get to send out those letters until. Letters until three o'clock in the morning, and I am so tired right now. I, I didn't get home till like four or something, so I'm pretty worn out. Yeah, sorry if you got screwed betting short because I said something. I actually said specifically I don't believe in shorting, and that's why I'm short on um, foreign markets, not on not not on the United States economy at all.